Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. That means it's time for a new week and a little bit of a market outlook and what I think is going to happen this week on the FIFA 22 Ultimate Team Market. I think it's going to be a crazy week. It has potential to be an insane week this week with content. Again, there's a lot of rumors flying around. We talked about that flashback and Mbappe rumors. Those are still relevant for this week, potentially, right? Those rumors, along with icon upgrade packs, hero upgrade packs, and you know, regular upgrade packs coming today, most likely, have got people kind of, I guess, I think, scared on this market a little bit. I do think prices on the rule breakers are going to continue to drop. Of course, we have weekend league rewards coming out soon after this video is released. I want to talk about that. Also, just look a look at, take a look at today's content, how I think the market's going to move. And look throughout the week, right? Rule Breakers Team 2, since again, we have the Team 1 branding uh, right here on the screen. It seems like we're going to get a Team 2. And we have Champions League this week as well. So I want to talk about UEFA marquee matchups, how that could supply the market as we look to maybe buy some Team of the Week cards, have a couple windows for that. And as well with the road to the knockouts, more price movements with those cards as we head into this week. So before we get into it today, if you're enjoying the videos, make sure to hit a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you are new but let's talk about again what like the pulse of this market at the moment and we'll start from monday and kind of move throughout the week because i know monday is the most prevalent and that's what's happening here and today so what we're expecting on monday today is probably upgrade packs i know i have weekend league rewards coming out before this but for content today on monday i'm really expecting the upgrade packs right we had the dante spc yesterday which is a huge pace upgrade from his gold card it's a nice SBC. I just think that why not, why use this card instead of Kempembe or Marquinhos? I think those two items would be better than this Dante sinking your coins untradeable 90K into a card like this. I know he's got really good stats, the four star weak foot, low high work rates, but 79 sprint speed. Uh, I think Upamakano at a 75K price point is better than this item if, li if those links don't matter too much to you. So I don't know. I think this Dante SBC is nice. But for most people, I think there's better options out there, in my opinion. But it is a decent one. Maybe you cracked it this week because I would expect today to see upgrade packs, whether it be a player pick, whether it be a 78 plus. Now, of course, we keep looking to this pack code. We keep talking about this pack code that was released a couple days ago, talking about 82 plus player packs, right? That's not a player pick. That's a player pack. But the way that it's worded is weird. It guarantees a player with at least one attribute 82 plus or higher. That's really interesting because you think about, again, bronze or silver cards. Some items have 82 attribute on their card or higher. So I don't know what kind of upgrade pack that would be. That'd be interesting. But the 81 to 86 and the icon upgrade pack, I think those two would come out at a similar time because EA loves to drop like an 81 to 86 or an 82 to 88 upgrade around the time that they put out an icon upgrade pack. Um, and if they would put out an icon or hero upgrade, that would cause the market this week to go into an absolute crazy amount of panic. So that's one thing that, I, again, as I mentioned, just rumors, and I mentioned just this market feeling a little bit scared. I think it's these pack codes right here, the base icon upgrade pack and a hero upgrade pack. That will be the number one and number two things uh, alongside that player of the, sorry, not player of the month, but a flashback and Bappe, right? The rumors for that SBC as well. That is what right now on this game, what is making people, I guess, worried the most that's making people worry the most right now and that's making i guess a little bit of panic happen every single day before 6 p.m uh you will probably see that panic again today on monday but also what you're going to see today on monday is a weekend league rewards release everybody who did not open their rewards during the weekend they're going to see their rewards this morning on monday uh early in the morning my time or like into the day uk time that's going to bring a little bit of supply to the market on some of these rule breaker cards they're going to get packed a bit of course golds and of course the team of the week now that presents an interesting window because mondays usually after weekend league rewards we do see the market rise and we see that market rise because people get those they get their red picks they get their team of the week pack they get their rewards and they they open those and they get coins and they go out and they upgrade their squad because they're in a gameplay mood, right? They just finished foot champions. So usually on Mondays, we see rewards happen, a nice little market rise on the meta, most popular, higher rated and on the out of packs. Uh, and then also on the team that is in packs, right? I remember even back to a couple weeks ago, guys like um, the 
Isak rode to the knockouts card, rising a lot after Monday rewards. Even though he was in packs, people got coins, they went out and they tried the hype card. So guys like Rudiger, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Onyeka, Zakaria possibly. I'm watching Holland right now because he has dropped off a ton in price in the last few hours on PlayStation. He was like 880K literally 24 hours ago, and right now he's 688. I know 100% that some of this is caused by panic selling. I've already got one at 675, so I'm looking forward to make this trade into the morning this morning on Monday. Uh, but even Usman Dembele, cards like Arnautovic, I do think that you will see some of these guys get supplied and maybe dip for a quite quick second at rewards and then potentially rise up further after that as people try cards out with their new coins from rewards. Same thing with Team of the Week 6, right? A lot of people are probably going to buy Team of the Week cards today. I know there's a lot of people that are wanting to invest in team of the week today, but there's one thing that I want to that I want to say about team of the week. I'm not touching team of the week unless it's a quick flip. Uh, and when I mean quick flip, I'm talking buying around the rewards time frame, either during or uh, right before, and selling pre 6 p.m. today on Monday. That's literally like a like a six to seven hour flip, because I think that if upgrade packs do come today on Monday, which I think is very possible. People are going to open upgrade packs because this team that is in packs, you got names like Dembele, you've got the Rudiger card, the Holland, the Trent Alexander-Arnold cards in here, especially if it's like a, a player pick, if they do a 75 plus player pick again or a 78 plus upgrade pack, you're going to have some people doing upgrade packs today to try to pack these items uh, and that's going to drain a few coins off the market and of course, you know, with again, with all the rumors floating around about these sorts of SPCs, who knows what that would do to the market. But I do think there's a potential for a quick flip on some of these cards today. The team of the week included. Some people are going to be investing in these. But uh, I'm not touching the team of the week for a longer term investment or for an out of packs investment for rule breakers or for the team of the week because of what we have coming later on this week. So if you do want to trade a little bit today, you could look at out of packs cards that have maybe dipped a bit before rewards, road to the knockouts, old team of the weeks, um, you know, some of these, these other items that, you know, maybe have dipped a little bit into rewards. Take some look around the market, find some items. Uh, that you might be able to see that are low on their fluctuation or whatever, and then look into those as we go into the day today. But for Monday, again, I do think you'll see a slight market rise after rewards uh, on a lot of the meta markets, some golds, the informs, out of pack stuff, probably some icons and the rule breakers that are, are really popular in meta as well. I would expect to see that. Uh, but then as we get later into the week, and this is what I want to start talking about too, I'm not investing in Team of the Week out of packs yet because of this SBC right here that is probably going to come again on Tuesday, and that is the UEFA marquee matchups, right? We know this SBC. We know this SBC comes during Champions League content weeks, and we have Champions League games again on Tuesday. Now we have Europa League uh, and conference league games on like on Thursday as well. But we've got more UCL, which means more hype for Road to the Knockouts and more supply because of this SBC. So if I'm looking at Team of the Week 6, besides a sh very short window flip today on guys like Upamecano, Alaba, Atal, and potentially Salah, I'm looking at probably a day to buy this Team of the Week is looking at Tuesday, right? I'm thinking Tuesday because after what happens today on Monday, we don't mess with supply, right? It's one of the things we've learned this year is we do not mess with supply on this game. So that for me is probably going to be some of the time to buy these Team of the Week cards. Um, but again, I think you might see a few of them jump up in price today as well. So keep an eye on that. But Tuesday, we're going to get some more supply. So that's probably going to drop golds so again. It's going to drop the rule breakers even more. So if you're waiting to buy rule breakers for your team, for a card for your team, I think I'm still waiting until later this week, probably Thursday, right? If we remember to week one, of Road to the Knockouts, right? The last time we had a, a team in packs for the full week, these guys were their cheapest on that uh, on that Thursday, right? The Thursday and Friday, you can see 181 and 187 on Wednesday to Thursday for this Robertson before he rose exponentially out of packs. So if there's any rule breakers that are gonna rise out of packs, I think that's more the buy time this week with more supply coming in on Tuesday. And then again, that, that, that minimizes your risk. If you're waiting to buy these cards, until like that Thursday, Friday timeframe, that's minimizing your risk. Because again, if we do get an Icon SBC or we do get an Mbappe flashback, that those are going to be items that definitely make the market move and probably, 
see a lot of these cards drop off because that'd be taking a lot of coins off this game. Now, as you can see, I'm seriously watching this Holland at the moment. I've been watching his bids, watching his price. I got one at 675. I would love to snag one more around 680. Um, 682 is probably going to be my top dollar there because I think this guy's really, really low. And I'm trying to make one of these flips into this morning. I probably should just pay 685, but I want to be slightly greedy. It looks like somebody else been down for 685 anyway. So yeah, I mean, I do think that trading in this market this week is going to be still pretty good when you have panic like this all the time and prices bouncing up and down and all over the place because of hype and because of worries. Uh, that just makes for great fluctuations, right? That makes for great trades, especially on icons. I spent about 20 minutes today on stream trading with icons, bought a Rivaldo at 640 and a Stoikov at 620. I sold them both at 687 for a couple nice flips, literally in the first or second hour. Flipped some promo cards, some Onyekas, um, sold a couple position change chemistry style rip arts, and then bought this Marquinhos at 85, sold it at 94, right? I think this week is gonna present some really good opportunities to trade um, because of the panic, right? And what we've seen so far is there's, there's panic, Man, people are really buying these up now. 690, am I gonna have to go 690? I really don't wanna pay 690 EA Sports. You're gonna need to have somebody list one of these up for the low 680s again, and then I'll be on it. Uh, but I think there's gonna be great opportunities to trade this week because yes, people have some coins, even though there might be some coins taken off this market, there's always people that are trading. So I love the icons, and I wanna talk about Road to the Knockouts again too. I know we just looked at a few of these cards, some of these cards are looking, you know, pretty like interesting buys. A lot of them have already started to creep up in price, like Sane 400K, Rodrigo 292. If there's any panic selling today on Monday for whatever content is released, really keep an eye on some of these cards. De Young is 711 once again. If that's not a big undercut, it's not. Okay, it kind of is. There's two of them there though. I'm really looking at some of these items if they drop off because we have Champions League games coming this week. And these road to the knockouts, most of these on the market have started to rise up a decent amount already. And I think they're going to continue rising as we get closer to the games this week. So I'm kind of watching the young because he's still low. Um, Timo Werner, if you see one at a million coins, is a decent pickup. El Sharawi for a game later on in the week, he's still down a little bit in price. Sonaldo is down a little bit in price. Um, so just keep an eye. Vidal is one that I would be interested in too, right? Because you have... The Correa card, Joaquin Correa might be getting a team of the week this week um, because of his two goal effort yesterday for Inter. So that is an item that you probably would want to keep an eye on as well as we uh, head throughout the week this week as there's potential links to a team of the week, but also that uh, road to the knockout stage hype on a card like that. That would be something that I would keep my eyes on as well today is just the fact that you'll have some of these road to the knockouts starting to rise up and there's going to be a lot more champions league hype into this week so that's kind of what i would be doing right now on this game you can trade the out of packs cards and fluctuations you can definitely watch for more market movements on icons now sbc fodder if i was you we're still expecting a couple sbcs this week i know some people have bought in some higher tier sbc fodder we're talking guys like um 88 cruise, right? Some 88 rated to like 21, 22,000 coins at the moment. You could be looking to take the cash on some of those, I would imagine. The thing that's going to make those go up a lot more would be um, an Icon SBC. But I mean, I really don't know what the likelihood of an Icon SBC coming this week is. I really don't, right? I mean, the way that I've been trading on this market is everybody is scared about that type of content coming. Uh, and I'm going to make so many coins off of people that are scared and panic selling these cards every single day that when the day comes that there actually is that SBC, if I have cards and I'm invested at that moment, then I'm going to be able to still, even though there's going to be prices dropping, I'm still going to come out way ahead because I'm making so many coins and so many coins on those days when people are um, worried and they're panicking because of the big content that comes and it doesn't come. So that when that content actually does get released, um, you know, I've got the coins that I've been making. I'm going to end up being so in the positive that if I have to take a little bit of a loss um, on a card, I'm going to be so in the positive that it won't matter because I'll, made so, be, I'll have made so many more coins from earlier in the week. So that's kind of my thinking and my plan of action. Now, gold cards, right? We know these cards are so low in price. They're going to get supplied more as the week goes on. Like Bruno Fernandez is like 30K. It's crazy how cheap some of these gold cards are, but 
they're just going to drop again as we head into next week, right? And I, again, I mentioned, I think a little bit at the beginning of the video, I mentioned the word Black Friday. Once again, we, we're not far. We are not far from Black Friday. And I know it sounds crazy to be talking about this, but when the clock turns to November, when the calendar, not the clock, when the calendar turns to November, you start to hear people talking about those, those words, right? Those are dreaded words. Where you're going to see the market impacted the most for Black Friday and where people are going to lose the most coins is on that high tier. And we're, I'm going to start talking about it now because if I'm, 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 I'm not even capping. If any of you guys want to start selling some cards for Black Friday, I give you full permission to start looking into an untradeable team. I know that it's the first week of November, but... People are going to start selling for, for Black Friday. I mean, what is this? It's it's November 1st, basically, when this video is released. We're only, I mean, we're only a couple weeks away. We really are. And a, a lot of times, the biggest panic is like a week or two before Black Friday is actually released. You're going to see the biggest impact on the market in terms of the out-of-packs cards and icons. So if you want to minimize your losses... If you're already losing or if you want to take the coins on cards that you already have, I seriously don't advise, or I'm not against advising to take some coins on those cards this week. I'm really not against that because uh, that's getting ahead of the ball game, right? It's getting ahead of a lot of people that are going to be selling in the next two to three weeks. And I really don't mind that. So just keep an eye on some of that stuff this week because there's probably going to be a time where you could take the coins um, on some of the out of packs and icons. That's the part of the market that's going to get hit the most because that part of the market is has retained its value so well thus far. So that's kind of how I feel about the market. Again, I'm not telling you to sell for Black Friday, but start thinking about an untradeable team, right? That's why I run an untradeable team or like a 90-10 ratio. I keep 90% of my coins for trading at this time of the year, and I keep about 10% for my team. And I've got about 10% in it right now. I'm thinking about doing the Nkunku SBC because I think this guy would work really well in my squad. If we get upgrade packs today, I'm probably going to be crafting him. So that's kind of like my personal account uh, update at the moment. Just a quick update on the trading as well. It was actually a really, really solid week uh, for me on the trading the weekend was really solid. We are closing in on 9 mil TP, 8.8. .8, so we're almost to 9 mil. That's pretty solid. Hopefully 10 mil will be definitely achievable by the end of this week. I'm trying to make like a mil plus per week. Um, you know, even on a down week, that should be doable. So expecting to hit that 10 mil TP mark this week, which would be nice. Uh, and we should be somewhere around hopefully about 4 million coins soon because I'm definitely over three. I think I'm like three, one, three, two, maybe three, three. If Holland uh, flips can go well, or if we can have some good icon flips into the next couple of days this week, that could be uh, some really, really big uh, profit that will push that number up. So that's kind of just the update on the account as well at the moment. My team really has not changed. I got Chow Many. Again, I'm kind of looking at replacing Chow Many with this Nkunku card. Not sure where to put uh, Bernardo. And also, if upgrade packs get released this week, I'm trying to rip some upgrade packs because I've got an untradeable Rudiger untradeable Upamecano, untradeable Dembele, all in the team. And they all have special cards right now, which if that happens, you know, if you have a, if you have a card untradeable in your club, the chances of you packing that card as special item when it's in packs is greatly increased. So um, I'm, I'm hoping for some upgrade packs because I would dump a couple hundred K into upgrade packs today uh, to get involved with that. So again, also rumors of flashback Mbappe, I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when I see it. But again, that's got people worried and that's got the market moving. So we can play into those panic selling and those bounces back. Um, you know, today on Monday with rewards and into 6 p.m. content time. Again, refer back to the icon trading video that I posted this past weekend. A lot of what I've talked about in that video is how I'm making coins daily on icons, right? Buying some of the panic, selling right before 6 p.m. UK. Like this Roberto Carlos was 560 right before 6 p.m. UK today. I went with other cards instead on icons. He's now back up to 619. That's a really, really good icon flip. So just kind of keep in mind that that's kind of those swings that we're seeing. And those are going to continue this week with these rumors floating around. We're also going to start to see some player of the month voting as well. So Premier League player of the month, probably not going to be released for two weeks, but that voting for potentially a Salah card is uh, going to be out there. So definitely keep an eye on like Salah special cards and this Trent, man. This Trent, I know a lot of people saw the rise out of packs on the um, 
the Robertson RTTK, there's going to be a lot of people that look to buy this Trent Alexander Arnold because they saw that rise. They know Salah's got some special cards coming. So this isn't a bad look, but when we get later on in the week, that's where I would start to take a look at these rule breakers. So it's going to be a crazy week in terms of content, right? I feel like it's all in EA's hands. Are they going to put out an icon SBC or a, a rec, not a record breaker, but a hero upgrade SBC to try to start taking coins off this game? Or how are they going to do it? I'm, I'm really curious to see how this week of content is played out, what EA does. But I know there's going to be plenty of coins to be made. So I'm probably going to snag a De Young, probably going to snag a Holland. If I can get a De Young at like 700 or like 710, I'll be pretty happy with that. Because I think it could easily be like 770 later on into this week when we see some more stuff happen with uh, the UCL game. So that's the video for today, boys. A little bit of a market outlook and also what we expect with rewards. So happy coin making and uh, happy selling if you're going to be cashing out a few things from your club, which isn't a terrible idea if you don't mind running on tradables for a little while. Again, if you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.